here with a finished object for you today and this one was born out of a few different things number one seeing some images on Instagram the internet and two seeing something in person that really inspired me to go for this finished object this is my first time looking at using making this is number 10 it's called intricate so I don't know a whole lot about making I guess I could peer into the front What's cool about this issue, I just wanna say right off the bat, is the cover is goldenrod, and the goldenrod vibe permeates throughout the whole magazine issue. So every single ad, like the Harrisville ad, everything has gold in it. Loop London, it's got gold in it. I think that's pretty cool, that detail. So these are all ads, and you can see they all go with the theme of the goldenrod. Here's another ad page. Isn't that fun? So it's really great that they go that extra mile. Here's another one. To tell everyone who's advertising about the theme so that they can correspond their ad to it. So the editors are Carrie Bostick Hogue and Ashley Yelsling. So I think I know who these ladies are. Carrie, she designed the sweater that I knit for, Rhinebeck sweater. And then Ashley, I believe, is the woman behind the Woeful podcast, which for me was my first taste of podcasting and talking about fiber on a bigger level and she really inspired me to make my YouTube channel. Love that. The photography is actually by them as well, which is really impressive. So I'm going to show you, I was, I was at a yarn crawl with a friend and she was really drawn to a pattern. I was drawn to a pattern and she was. The pattern that I was drawn to were these owls. In fact, I had seen these owls in the Susan B. Anderson Instagram page and on the Susan B. Anderson Instagram page and I wanted the kit from Barrett Wilco, but they were already sold out. So aren't these adorable, these owls? And then she was really drawn to these mittens. So I knew her birthday was coming up. It was a big birthday. And I thought, you know what? I think I can knit those for her. So I purchased the magazine and I purchased a skein of yarn and I just sort of played it off like I was going to make the little owls. Oh my gosh, okay. Can anyone relate to this? Can anyone relate to what I just pulled out of my bag? <laughs> what is happening? Really, what is happening here? It looks like we have some knit collage and some DPNs all having a dance. Okay. Here is the wool that I picked up. And this is my first time working with Lore, L-O-R-E. It's by the Fiber Co. I haven't really knit with a lot of Fiber Co yarns, but I think it's beautiful. So it says, Lore, wool as story, 100% Kent lambs wool sourced and produced in England. It was very lovely to work with. It's processed in the middle in England's historical textile region of West Yorkshire. Lore is made of 100% lambs wool from the Romney sheep breed. It is an honest wool and spun DK weight yarn that blooms into a beautiful knitted fabric, perfect for everyday knits. We named this yarn Lore to honor the stories we create with wool. Great stories happen to those who knit them. Won't you share your knitting story with us? <gasps> well, my knitting story is that my knitting friend had a big birthday coming up and she was drawn to these mittens. She also loves the color navy blue. And I imagine that she has a navy blue coat that will really make these mittens pop. So I'm gonna show you the mittens now. First, I'll hold them up so you can see them. So this is a basic, pretty basic mitten shape, basic knitting that is made special by the embroidery. So there's many flowers in the front and just a few near the cuff. And now I'm gonna try them on for you. I did not knit a swatch because I did not have time. I just made the smallest size and there's plenty of room in these mittens. I hope they fit her as well. I feel like mittens are a pretty forgiving object. The other cool thing about this pattern is that you can make a lining for the mitten if you so choose, like fleece, I think is a suggestion. I imagine you could do felted wool, something like that. I did not line these mittens. I think they will still be quite warm without the lining. And in lieu of lining them, you just take this pre-cuff that you knit and then you tack it in on the inside so the cuff is a little thicker. Now, as I was reading this pattern, I don't know if it's an error or if I was just reading it wrong, but I did not decrease correctly here at the tip. And when I got to that point and realized I had made the mistake, I just really took a 
long look at this mitten, knowing I had a deadline, and I thought, you know, I think it would look really weird if it was just the mitten itself, but since I'm embroidering over it, I think it will be more forgiving. It should have been much pointier. So what I did is I just left it, and then instead of having, I think, four stitches left, I had more like 24. So I did a Kitchener bind off, which just means I put the same amount of stitches on each side and then used something called the Kitchener stitch, which is actually really simple when you've done it as many times as I have done. I didn't even have to look it up this time. I thought, I am so, I am such a boss lady knitter, I don't even have to look this up because it's memorized now. That is the first time that's ever happened. So I'm just gonna read to you what I read and just see if I read this wrong. I don't know if this will work. I feel like we're having story time now. You have the front chart and the back chart, and you put markers to indicate the front and the back. So it says, next round is a decrease round. So we're going from straight knitting here to now the decreases, right? Next round, knit two together, comma, knit to two stitches before marker, and there's a beginning of round marker, and there's a halfway marker, right? So knit to two stitches before marker, SSK. Slip marker, work chart, work chart to end. And then in parentheses it says four stitches decreased. Well, when you read that, there's a K2 together and an SSK, which is one of them is one stitch decreased, the other is one stitch decreased. So that's two stitches decreased. The way I think this should read is star, knit two together, knit to, stu knit to two stitches before marker, SSK, slip marker, star, repeat one time more while working the chart. That's what I think it should say because then I would have decreases on both sides of each marker, and that's what threw me. So I'm not sure, if I had seen four stitches decrease and paid attention to it, I think I would have had a pause and gone, ooh, wait a second, that's only two. And since if I had been a more experienced mitten knitter, I've only knit a few, I would remember that they really do need to decrease at a steeper rate. So that's where I got into trouble. So watch out for that, just mentioning it. As you knit the mitten, you include all of the centers of these flowers within the pattern, and then it's time to embroider. The mittens itself took about, I would say, eight to nine hours to knit, and then to embroider took another two to four hours. So it's actually a doable project in the weekend if you want to just sit down and work, 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 work. And the embroidery, I got the hang of it. The, the best technique I found was to use the satin stitch. I didn't look up what that was. They said use the satin stitch, but I think it's just you, you, go, um, you go under and out within one sort of motion so you don't have to like go into the mitten. And what I found was I would just sort of work top, side, bottom, like a clock, 12, three, six, and nine. And then I would fill in one and two and five and six and um, seven and eight and 10 and 11. And then I would go all around again. So I went around several times until it was a nice even flower on there. Very enjoyable to knit, very well written pattern, except for that one part that I think is a little fussy, but maybe it was just me. And I love the result, even though mine are a little flat, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's the thought that counts and it's a perfect gift for my friend with a special birthday. Thank you so much as always for checking in here at Christy Gloss Knits and I will see you next time. Stay warm. Bye.